All right, I love this. Restaurant week will be here before we know it. So we sent Clark out to a restaurant that's participating in this year's festivities. Clark, you're making oysters. I can't wait to see what you do with them. I'm excited because I used to not be an oyster girl, but uh, getting a really cool experience here, and I love oysters now. They're delicious. I think San Antonio just kind of does that to you after a while. I'm hanging out with the executive chef of the Ambler. We're inside Hotel Contessa, and we are cooking up some deliciousness today. We are. We're doing some uh, char-grilled oysters, getting ready for culinary week, which is a great thing for the community and for the food community in a whole. Um, so today we're going to do some char-grilled oysters. I love it. Uh, show you some of the other dishes we're doing for restaurant week. Cool, cool. How do we get started with the oysters? Well, we already shucked them. Mm -hmm. You did some earlier. You did it very fast, too. That was pretty awesome. <laughs> was, you got to teach my crew to do that. Magic. So People it's real simple. You. I mean, you, you could do this at home out on your grill in two or three minutes. They're ready uh -huh. to go. It's kind of a take on a... Uh, kind of southern slash New Orleans yeah. uh, cuisine. And we were we, talking earlier, uh, you spent some time in NOLA, so you kind of have that flavor profile and the oysters, yeah. I feel like that's your thing. I had six years in New Orleans, it was awesome. We had a great awesome, time, awesome. great food, great food here in San Antonio too. What's so, going on the oysters? So real simple, we're just putting some heavy cream, uh -huh. a little bit of olive oil, gotta have wine. You cup have for me, to have you want wine. a glass too? Or no? <laughs> we can pour a glass. Yeah. Is that Pinot Grigio or Cabernet? It is. It's Pinot Gris. It's one of the wines we'll be featuring during Culinary Week. Uh -huh. It's a Fruelli. Um, lemon somewhere right over here. That looks so good. A little good. fresh lemon juice. Gives it that little kick and that little acid for it. So far, this is really and simple. Then, yeah, everybody likes hot sauce. We're in South Texas. You got to have something hot, right? You have to have a little spice. A little Tabasco. So talk to me about what else you're featuring on your restaurant week menu. So we're, we're having a three course uh, dinner mm -hmm. um, each night, seven nights a week. We will have a uh, Gulf Red Snapper. It's blackened. It's got you know good southern fried green tomatoes. You can't yes. go wrong there. Oh, I love fried uh, green tomatoes. A little Tabasco oil and just a fresh salad with corn and roasted peppers, mm -hmm. local cotilla cheese. And uh, house donuts, everybody likes a fried donut, right? Yes. Warm, hot, out of the fryer with sugar. You can't go wrong. Uh, espresso chocolate pot creme couple of our specialty cocktails for the week. Mm -hmm. We'll also have a uh, crispy fried pork belly as an appetizer with some local grits, yeah. local smoked cheddar from Brazos Valley. Uh, for entree, we'll have a smoked, mesquite smoked. You gotta have smoked in Texas, right? You have to do uh, it. And the grits too. I love grits. Texas because grits are the norm out yeah. here. And um, tell me a little bit about the flavors that you've created here for Ambler. What's the theme? So simplicity, Texas with a southern twist. Mm -hmm. uh, local, you know, we got the Gulf right down the road. Great food out, you know, great seafood out of there. Uh, Akaushi beef, there's some great local beef in the area, mm -hmm. pork purveyors. But generally about 85% of our menu will be locally purveyed. It'll be within 100 miles of San Antonio. Yeah, yeah. So. And what about people who maybe haven't experienced culinary before uh, restaurant week? What can they expect? It's an opportunity to get out to many restaurants in the area, you know, uh, to experience it, have some great food, usually at a reduced rate. Um, best part of it is part of the proceeds go to the local community. They support the foodies in the area, mm -hmm. the chefs in the area. It's, it's just a win-win. And you do have people a, have to order from like a prefix menu or is everything on the menu going toward? Every, it's a prefix menu okay, for that cool. specialty, but please feel free, come in, order some other items, order some other drinks. We got a great wine list. We'll have a wine pairing with it, some cocktail pairings. Mm -hmm. Can't go wrong. I like it. Let's get back to the oysters yeah. because so, what's happening right now? So, so they're, they're cooking. They're cooking up in char and I like mm -hmm. to put a little Parmesan on them just to kind of brown them up. So could people do this at home? You could, you could do it right That's on your grill. Crazy. You saw I was talking to you. I didn't even mess with it. Right. I didn't touch it. A little fresh cracked pepper just to give it some flavor. And I have all of these things already in my fridge, which is amazing. The exactly. Heavy cream, it's, it's a little some, wine. I mean, I'm giving our secrets away. I don't know. You know? <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you can give us a couple secrets. We won't tell. And then just finish <laughs> it with a little cream to top it off. That looks awesome. I was, and you know what? This is really cool because someone who might be a little intimidated by oysters, seeing them raw at first, but cooking, I mean, that could help quite a bit. And then we serve them on a little hibachi grill to mm -hmm. get that charred flavor out to it right at the table keep them hot puts a little show at the table now chef i noticed you didn't add any salt to it yet i did i'm going to do that at the end i, ah. I call it finishing salt it's okay. a sea salt that we use we're just going to give them four put that right on the end so it doesn't dissolve and soak in and get dry out dry out the oyster uh-huh and just finish it with a little bit there oh, you're man. done a little fresh squeeze of lemon right on the end comes out to the table smoking charred and great Right oh, there. wow. 
That is the coolest presentation oh, I've ever seen. So Seriously. Fun, it's all simple food, just done mm -hmm. right. Using great product. Oysters from the Gulf are perfect right now. Snapper from the Gulf is perfect. Right. Wakawashi, Akarushi beef. It's, there's so much right around us. Let's use it. Showcase and if people it. want to get more information, uh, maybe come out and visit you or learn more about Restaurant Week, where can they go? They can go to the culinary website. They can go to the Hotel Contessa website, which is hotelcontessa.com, or they can call the restaurant. Chef, is it too hot for me to try one? They're, a little, they're maybe... a little warm. Let me get you a uh, spoon. We'll maybe put I one on a spoon a for you. Oh, yeah. See? We'll that's we got a little it. science happening. Michelle are hot. Okay, okay. Shells are hot, it. but let's see. <laughs> I almost knocked it off the spoon. It's hot. Mm. So. That is so good, you guys. Come try it out. And the Support nectar, local and restaurants. Enjoy some of these flavors in San Antonio for a good cause. I love it. I love it. Chef, thank you so, so you're much. You're welcome. Come anytime.